And finally, we got question number 10. A user is enabled to browse internet websites. So internet websites are not working. There's an issue with the internet. A technician runs ipconfig and sees the following output. So you would do ipconfig uh, command. For example, ipconfig forward slash all, this is the result he gets. You get an IP address, which is, looks like to be a local address, starts with 192. Um, if you guys can probably see that same thing on your computer. And then we get subnet mask, which is the default subnet mask, which is normal. And then we get default gateway, which is the router itself, providing you a gateway to the outside, which is the internet. So this is the basically the IP address of your router or a switch. And through this is how you get to the internet, which again is the location or the IP address for the router itself. And then the technician pings the gateway and gets a reply. So whenever somebody, whenever a technician types in ping 192, ping space 192.168.0.54, they get a reply. That means it's working. That means the router itself is working. The gateway itself is working. And then technician then pings the external IP address and also gets a reply. So somehow this technician uh, figures out what the internet IP address for a website. For example, let's say it's Google. All he does is types in in command line, types in ping space google.com and gets an IP address. And then he takes that IP address and then he pings it and he gets a reply. That means he can reach it. That means the website itself is reachable, but we are bypassing uh, DNS, which is the main name system, which routes google.com uh, um, to that IP address that he just pinged. Meaning that google.com itself goes to a specific IP address. And you can get to that specific IP address by typing in the address directly, but when you type in google.com, it doesn't work. Uh, for it to work, uh, DNS or the, the main name system is used for that. It basically takes your domain name, which is google.com, and then it tells your computer, okay, google.com is actually located over here, and then it understands that google.com is the domain name for it. Okay, here are the options for our answers. Uh, number one is netstat-nbt. So what is netstat command? I mean, we can look at it in a couple of different ways. Netstat is used in Windows as well as in Linux. Here's an example of a Linux a utilization of netstat commands. It gives you basically information on TCP IP. And in this case, this is not something we would do as technician. This is more of an advanced stuff, for example, for network administrators. Uh, but it's also used by Microsoft itself. So it is used within Windows. If you, for example, use any of these switches or commands, if you will, um, we will give you basic, for example, information, for example, netstat uh, dash A displays all active TCP connections and TCP UDP ports at which computer is uh, listening to. And you can do things like display Ethernet statistics, display active TCP connections. But this is not what we're talking about here. We're talking about from one point to another, in which case uh, we're mostly worried about not being able to reach a specific website by using just the domain name. In this example, again, google.com. You're not going to be using it. And then we got NetSH space INT. IP reset. Well, let's see what that is. So to reset TCP IP stack in Windows 10. All right. Well, let's look at what's relevant when it comes to that. It's Microsoft. Here we go. We're talking about NetShell utility. You know, this is something that network administrator would be using to remotely reset TCP IP of a device. As a technician, you think I'm going to have access to this? No. And then we got IP config forward slash flush DNS. So this is a flush DNS command, which flushes DNS or resets the DNS record on your local computer or refreshes it, if you will. We talked about DNS, didn't we? This seems very relevant. And the last thing we got NS lookup under D. So what does NS lookup does? Well, let's, let's do a Google on this as well. NS lookup, let me see if I can get a, here we go, Microsoft document, sure. Uh, displays information you can use to diagnose the main name system infrastructure. So now we're getting into DNS infrastructure. Uh, you, you know, th this is something that's used by network administrators uh, when it comes to troubleshooting these type of different type of things. As a technician, 
you're not going to be doing this. The best thing you can do here is do IP config forward slash flush DNS because we know that this computer can reach the IP address for this domain and hopefully by updating DNS locally, um, next time you type in google.com, it's going to fix it. So the answer should be C, IP config forward slash flush DNS.